play the skin flute. <laughs> hey, per <laughs> he said skin flute. Wow. Hey, Perpetual Comedy here, coming at you with another perpetual story. You know me, you've seen me in most of the videos, but uh, we want to give you a chance to meet Nick. You guys don't get to see him as much. He's a big contributor, to the contribute, whatever. He He's very involved in the channel. He's done Bentley. He's Mr. Rogers. <laughs> he's also been Leatherface. And uh, this story, uh, before we talk about you know how we know each other, the story of when he went on a date and you pretended to be Australian, <laughs> and turns out the girl didn't like it. So can you indulge more on that night? Oh yeah, that was funny. Yeah, it was like uh, we met up at Starbucks. Okay. And um, I figured, hey, you know what? A lot of girls like Australian accents. A lot of girls dig British accents. Supposedly they're considered the most sexy. So I thought, hey, I'll just impress this chick by pretending to be Australian. What's the worst that could happen? <laughs> I mean, what do I got to lose? Exactly. So she waves to me. I walk over to her. I was like, hello there, love. Sir, how long have you been waiting? And she's like, what the hell's wrong with you? What the hell's wrong with you? Seriously? It's like, seriously what? What are you talking about, seriously? You're like, you're very bloody confusing, mate. It's like a bloody wallaby. Make up your bloody mind. What are you talking about? And she said, my ex-husband is Australian. I hated that son of a bitch. <laughs> you could have told me you're Australian. It's like, you bloody think I'm Australian? I throw a bloody boomerang and it doesn't come back. It's a bloody stick. Have you heard that one? And I was like thinking, what are you talking about? How am I supposed to know you have a bloody husband? Well, I'm supposed to even know you existed until yesterday. Well, you know, and I would have figured, hey, this oh, guy's a riot, but no, she's like getting ready to leave. <clears throat> did, she did not think it was funny as he did. No, I, I would have been not. dying. Yeah. Yeah. Now, how many years ago was this? Oh, about five years ago. Oh, my God. And... Uh... I guess you never heard from her again. <laughs> no. No, I did not. She oh practically ran out of the place. <laughs> I can't say I don't blame her. Oh, my God, that's absolutely hysterical. But yeah. Um, yeah. like I said, um, you've seen him in a lot of the other videos. I've known, I think about 27 years, I think we've known each other. Since like 1991? 91, all right, so, 90? 90, so I was like five years old actually. <laughs> so that was about 28, tw no, 20. Yeah. I'll be 34, but almost. It was like 92, 92. So about 30, 20, 92, so. Yeah, yeah. It was I nice. was about six years old. Okay, we, I mean, nice. we, I'm, we've been doing skits since we were little. Always doing voices and stuff. Do some of your Al Pacino. But it's not the man I was five years ago. I took a flamethrower to this place. Woody Allen. My God, what, what are you doing? You, you, you don't want to go out with me? What have I got? Plague or something? You, you, <laughs> Arthur. Hello, love. Hey, you like you? How much do you charge for an hour, babe? <laughs> Do Beavis and Butthead. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, shut up, Beavis. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> what's what's some of the other voices you've done? Uh, <laughs> I do a good uh, Arnold what, Schwarzenegger. Oh, well, you're Christopher Walken. We have to hear that. You got me all wrong. It's the wrong tone. Stab your face with a soldering iron. Had this watch. On my ass, five years. He's very Robin Williams like with his uh, his voice acting. Nick does a lot of good impressions. It's, I think you have a list of them. They're absolutely, they're so, he could do this all day. We could do a whole video on that. Who's it on the board, man? <laughs> Have you seen my bone? You know what? I'm very happy. <laughs> but, um, oh God, we've been knowing each other, pushing almost 30 years now. <laughs> And um, one thing I remember when I was five years old, I think my mom was on a date. I don't know where she went, but me, Nick, my brother, I think is, I think it might have been Tim, or I don't remember who was there, but we were walking, watching Clockwork Orange, and my mom walked in. And have you know, if you don't know what that movie is, it's very graphic. It's NC-17. And of course, it's the home invasion scene. They, <laughs> and that movie would never be allowed by today's standards. And my mom looks up, like, what the hell are you doing? What the hell are you doing? And they're like, he likes it. <laughs> I was five years old watching that movie. Yeah. And I, I guess. And you're I, like, <laughs> maybe, I, 
might have just a d d demented mind. I don't know what it is for my love of horror, but I've been watching this stuff for a long, long time, as has Nick. All the cult classics that we absolutely love and we grew up watching. But uh, I just want to introduce you guys to Nick, get you a better perspective on who he is. He's a big, big part of the channel and what we do. And he also has some new characters that we're going to be doing. Uh, everything's starting to get back to normal, so uh, we look forward to getting those videos out to you guys. But uh, I just want to say thanks and uh, I'm gonna introduce you to him. And I uh, hope you guys uh, take it easy. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Anything else you want to say? Um, I, uh... <clears throat> That'll do it. <laughs> I don't, I don't do it. That'll right. do it. Cut scene.